So if you're thinking about traveling to Romania, I have a lot of tips and tricks to help you make your experience a bit more enjoyable. My name is Andrew, welcome to the channel. I've been doing this for the past 10 years of my life, helping men such as yourself that want to come from abroad and they just want to visit Romania, uh, see the beautiful places, the beautiful views and obviously meet some women, because why not? I mean, you're a single traveler to Romania, you're in a vacation. You want to relax. First things first, you want to take into consideration the idea that you need to approach women. Because obviously, where are you going to meet them? Now, you will think, as most men do, I'm going to go on Instagram. I'm going to go on Tinder. The thing is, women nowadays, especially in Bucharest, for example, in the capital of Romania, they tend to be very busy. I mean, they have Tinder, but they look at it once every week. So if you're staying for a few days, you will definitely miss the chance of knowing women if you're thinking about Tinder. On Instagram, once again, you need to find them specifically in Bucharest. And once again, they have their options. They do not know you. And you will find out that Romanian women tend to want to go out with men that they spend a bit of time uh, with. So if you're talking on Instagram, it will take you about one week to two weeks only to talk to her on Instagram until you go out. So what is our best option right now? You need to approach women literally in the street where you see them. And it's very easy to do that. We are doing this every single day. We can help you do this, master this, understand this. And why? Because we want you not to approach women only in Romania, but to do that in your country as well when you go back. Because listen to me, women are everywhere, man. They are everywhere. And a lot of men nowadays build these narratives and they want to be sad and cry and pity themselves. When in reality, it takes a snap of fingers for you to realize, it takes a small decision for you to realize that whatever life you want, you can do it right now. There is a decision you need to take and you can completely change your life in this very second. But the decision has to be yours. You need to wish for yourself a better life to understand you can do it and to want it in the first place. Otherwise, how are you going to achieve it? So now that you want to approach women on the street, and let's just say you have your emotions, it's normal, you're a bit afraid, you're scared of judgment, or you know, you have, you didn't do this, you're a bit nervous, you know, you're anxious. Uh, the first thing, you want to make things easier for you. And in order to make things easier for you, you need to do something that most men don't do. Now, most men don't understand that fashion is actually incredibly important, especially when you're making a first impression. Think about it. You want to uh, imagine yourself being a CEO and you're the CEO of a big company which deals with fashion, for example, and you have this guy coming in flip flops and, you know, like a nasty T-shirt on. It's even dirty or it's three size sizes bigger. What is the impression that he's going to make to you? Now, I can give you an example from my, my life. In a t-shirt like this, I went with a customer, with a client we had on the field in Bucharest. I had to go to the toilet. So I stopped by the bathroom of a hotel. Now the guy looked at me with so much disgust and he didn't allow me to go into the bathroom because what, are we a public bathroom or what? But however, I wanted to have a coffee. So I thought to myself, well, if I'm gonna pay for it, I think I can go to the bathroom, yeah? Not really. <laughs> because he was actually disgusted about the way I was dressed and I was having a coffee outside the hotel in front of it. So somehow I wasn't allowed to go in in that specific bathroom, which is kind of weird, I know. Now to the same hotel, by coincidence, after two or three months, it was the same guy over there and I came with a costume on. I had the, I had the beautiful outfit on because that was the situation. This time, not only he just, he opened the door, he actually walked me through the bathroom, always telling me, there you go, sir, this way, blah, 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 let me keep your jacket. So you can see that people treat you with different respect when you know how to dress, you know how to carry yourself. And for Romanian women, this is extremely important. You need to be well-dressed. That says something about you up front. So, do this only because you're going to increase your chances and you want to you want your chances to be big why why would you like to go small now the second thing you got to understand that the vibe matters vibe means overall how you feel so right now before coming to romania before visiting us in bucharest ask yourself 
what are the emotions that you usually have every single day? Like, what is, if you, if you are to put on a piece of paper bad emotions and good emotions, which tend to dominate you? Which t what, what area do you tend to resonate more? With the good vibes or the bad vibes? It's not normal for you to feel that it's a lot of bad vibes and you tend to always be anxious, fearful, or you tend to talk down on you, tend to throw hate at yourself. You know, so if you un if you realize these things, I can help you with online coaching until you come over here in Bucharest. I just want to let you know that I am here for you. Like we do hypnosis, we do NLP, we do profound meditations where you unlock your blockages. Just give it a try because vibe matters. The only thing that is going to make a woman fall in love all of a sudden with you, it's all in the idea of what you are as a man. So fashion, going to the gym, dressing nice, having fuckloads of money, they are going to help you in the temporary market. It's a temporary, temporary effect because at the end of the day, you know, you're going to be with that person maybe. Staying for like a full week in Romania, you're finding this, guy, this girl, you're actually in love with her, you know, you, you like to spend time with her, you, want, you only want to see her. Well, think about it, like five, six days together. What are the money going to do for you? Yeah, you can buy this, this and this. But then again, you have a lot of hours to be together. If your vibe is terrible, then you will fight. You will argue. You will feel um, you will be a nasty guy, <laughs> basically. So your vibe needs to be on point because that's going to help you uh, approach women and do it without caring too much. If you get rejected, but you're not going to be you're not going to get rejected since your vibe is amazing. The third thing you want to understand intention matters. So a lot of guys, what they do, they don't express uh, the intention because you don't express the intention. You will find that Romanian women are actually very polite. So basically, they're not going to tell you, fuck off. I don't want to. Uh, go out with you and have a coffee. They're just gonna say, oh, I don't feel like this is the moment But you know what? Let me you can lend me your Instagram and I will contact you later You know, it's just a way of like, Not telling you that you don't necessarily interest her and that she sees you more like a friend And obviously if you don't make your intention clear, you're gonna be friend zoned because she's gonna look at you, she's gonna be like, I don't understand what this guy wants from me. But apparently he doesn't want anything than to be like a, a, a guy that I can just cry on and you know, uh, make him come out with me, get me some coffees, you know, uh, get me the towel, things like this. So she's gonna treat you like a, in the friend zone, like a dog, a dog you just sent to do your chores, you know? So you don't want that. So the problem is make your intention. Make your intention very clear. And to give you an example, it's like, hey, excuse me, I just saw you and you look fucking amazing. You look very interesting. What's your name? Oh, my name is Veronica, blah, blah, blah. You know what? I want to take you out. The fuck are you doing right now? So this is how you make your intention clear. Intention is clear. She knows that this is a, a possible hookup. She knows that there is a man to woman. Your frame is strong. In the end of this video, I just want to tell you that there are three beautiful areas in Bucharest where you can actually do approaches. Uh, the first one is the Ro Roman Square. Second one is the Union Square. And the third one is the University Square. If you would ask me what is the best place to, for you to approach women, would be Union Square if we're talking about Bucharest. The reason I'm telling you this is because I know a lot of guys, uh, they want to do some coaching, but they are ashamed or they feel some guilt or God knows what, what their, their fears are. And if you're deciding to just come to Bucharest and do it yourself, hell, I encourage you to do that. Um, so you need to know the places where you can actually approach. I highly recommend Union Square. Start over there, especially if you're a beginner. However, if you're a guy that is like, he understands that money is shit, money has no value. He understands that no matter how many objects he buys in this life, it's not gonna grow his self-esteem, it's not gonna make him a success successful person, actually it's gonna give him only headache, problems, you know, you buy a new car, you need to pay insurance, taxes and gas and all the time. You buy a house and that's only a box that the system throws you in and now you feel isolated, you're alone in that house. So if, you, if you're a guy that understands that only information has value, and that obviously information is expensive, well, you can contact me via email. We can do coaching online or in-field in Romania, especially because August is coming and it's the perfect time for you to come over here, visit us and approach women literally in the street. So thank you so much for watching. I'll be waiting your email and we can take it from over there. Bye-bye. 
So we just approached the ending of our boot camp in Romania, Bucharest. We're here with Nash that's going to share some uh, thoughts and opinions on how he felt, uh, if he achieved his expectations or not. And uh, without further ado, let's let's give it to Nash. So Nash, uh, you're approaching the end of this boot camp. So how Thanks. did you feel with us? Thanks, Logan. Hello, guys. Uh, yeah, again, he said uh, I'm Nash. It's been a, it's been a three and a half weeks. I think close to close to four weeks or three and a half weeks. Uh, um, you know, journey. It started uh, like you know. I came here. I had few things before, but I knew it was not complete. There was something lacking, right? So I, I talked to Lauren before coming here, and I felt a good connection with him. And I uh, came here trusting him, and this is my first time even coming to Romania, um, all the way from California. So, but since the day I came, you know, I met these two guys, Lauren and Alex, also, and somehow we got connected, you know, at, at a different level. Um, made me easier here, you know. I felt home. Uh, just the day I came, and I felt really home. Um, I started working with them, and. These are very, um, what do you call, it? small, small details. You might be having everything, you might be having a style and job and money and things like that, but what exactly is uh, needed in, in, uh, in uh, raising to the social, social skills, right? Not only with women, but with, in general, how to handle the uh, social dynamics, right? If you call that social dynamics, right? Um, it doesn't matter with women or if in, at work, or business, or when you go out with family. So this is what I think these two guys are teaching. Basically, it is how to live your life on your powerfully, you know, empowering yourself. How to live your life. It doesn't matter whether you're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. How to empower yourself. I think that's what they're doing. Coming back to the women here, uh, trust me guys, here in Romania, Bucharest, I mean with, with the, since the day I came and the progress which I have seen and the concepts which uh, Lauren, Lauren talks, basically you got, to, you got to trust those things and, and write them and practice them and it doesn't matter whatever happens. And even I had some hesitations and resistance trying those things because those looks, feels, or sounds radical, but trust me guys, those works, and that's what women want.